Hello, Top 10 fans. Welcome to Top10list.org, where you get a world of knowledge and 10 simple points. Today's episode is going to be about Top 10 Awesome Movie Motorbikes. Let's dive right in at number 10 with the German BMW R75 from The Great Escape in 1963. While The Great Escape is a classic ensemble piece, the image of Steve McQueen riding a stolen German BMW R75 in a failed bid for freedom cemented his status as one of the coolest movie stars of his generation. It was daring, it was memorable, and it made war look fun, which admittedly might not be a good thing. Anyhow, McQueen rocked on his R75, except he wasn't riding an R75 at all. It was actually a Triumph TR6 Trophy 650, which was modified to look like a Nazi ride. Ma movie magic, huh? Number 9 is Prince's 1979 Honda CM400 from Purple Rain in 1984. Purple Rain was a vehicle for Prince in more ways than one. Designed as a shameless profile-boosting marketing campaign, the movie is essentially a series of music videos strung together by a paper-thin plot. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. As the kid, pint-sized pop star Prince rides his Honda CM400A through the neon-lit urban streets and golden sunlit rural roads, looking intensely and moody and, well, a bit like a prince. Number 8 is the turbocharged Z10,000 from Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior, 1981. The first Mad Max sequel took the visceral and unsettling post-civilization hints of its predecessor and brought them to the big screen. The Road Warrior sees Mel Gibson's eponymous protagonist pitted against Vernon Wells' bad guy Wes and his Z-10,000 and in an industrial desert wasteland. Wes and his band of feral fellow bikers terrorize the innocent on their absurdly modified rides. The climax of the film is an incredible road chase featuring a range of post-apocalyptic mechanical carnage. Number 7 is Norton International, The Motorcycle Diaries in 04. Walter Sale's adaptation of Che Guevara's physical and emotional journey across South America features some serious period cool in the form of the Norton International. The film was a well-received hit and oozes indie chick as stars Gael Garcia Bernal and Rodrigo de la Serna don some beautiful retro attire and travel around the Latin continent on the beast as they call it. Number 6 is the Kawasaki GPZ750R from Top Gun in 1986. Top Gun was a pop culture hit that hit the sweet spot in the mid 80s with its theme of cheesy and macho rock stars of the sky. While star Tom Cruise spent most of the time in showers playing volleyball and flying an F-14, he also took to the open road in this Kawasaki GPZ750R. The image of Cruise speeding down the highway to the danger zone with his pilot jacket, aviator shades, and windblown hair is one of the defining images of 80s cinema. A personal favorite of mine at number 5 is the Tron Light Cycle from Tron in 1982, and also the bikes in the new movie. Tron has an aesthetic style and a feel that is unlike anything else in the history of film. Simultaneously naff and cool, Jeff Bridges' adventure is literally inside the digital game world as imagined by Disney in the early 80s. Provided cinematic visuals and excitement that still look awesome today. The star of the show is Bridges' light cycle bike, a fluorescent and super sleek ride used to compete in death races. From a film geek perspective, the light cycle is up there with the bat pod in the battle for uber cool points. Number 4 is the Triumph Thunderbird from The Wild One in 1953. Marlon Brando's gang leader Johnny is the star of the show in The Wild One. While he is the Wild One, rebelling against anything and everything established society throws his way. While Brando's 6500cc 6, Thunderbird isn't the most visually stunning bike on the list, the sight of Brando sitting atop it is a classic cinematic image. Incredibly, this film was banned for 14 years in the UK, but while the violence in the film seems timid today, the shots of Brando as a rebellious biker still resonate. A personal favorite of mine also on this list on number 3 is the Power Bike from the anime motion film Akira in 1988. Akira is one of the most celebrated anime exports of all time, and the slick red modified bike ridden by the central character Kanita is central to the look and feel of the whole film. Set in a surreal dystopian future, the red bike is a symbol of status and power, and coveted by one of the story's other main characters, Tetsuo. The film and its red mechanical star have achieved cult status among film geeks, and a fan-made replica of Kanita's amazing bike has made it onto the road. Number 2 is Harley Davidson in the Terminator 2 Judgment Day in 92. When Arnie returned for a Terminator sequel in the early 90s, he needed your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Specifically, he came back for a 1990 Harley Davidson FLSTF, 
Thematically, the biker identity works well. The Terminator is an anti-establishment figure, an outsider, a rock star, and sitting atop the purring engine of the Harley, Schwarzenegger is almost too cool for school. And last but not least on the list on number one is the Bat Pod from The Dark Knight in 2008. When Bruce Wayne reappeared for the follow-up to Batman Begins, he brought some new toys. Among his gorgeous gadgets was the Bat Pod, a chunky beast of a bike incorporating 20-inch tires and armed with grappling hooks, cannons, and machine guns. Written by an infamous comic superhero, it is a top contender for the coolest ever bike created for a movie. Reappearing in 2012's The Dark Knight Rises, the Bat Pod would be an amazing real-life ride. Traffic jams would be a thing of the past, although road rage could get a bit devastating. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Top 10. If you enjoyed this episode for awesome movie motorbikes, don't forget to click subscribe and join us again for another edition.